Hi friends. In today's video, we will go through a pressure vessel drawing. A pressure vessel is a container designed to hold gases or liquids at a pressure substantially different from the ambient pressure. Let us check what the notes say. All dimensions are in mm unless otherwise specified. All reinforcing pads shall be air tested with 1.05 kg per centimeter square gauge pressure and checked for leaks with soap solution before the hydratist. All welded construction shall be 6 mm unless otherwise specified. Standard raised face flanges shall confirm to ANSIB 16.5. Before starting the work, you must read and make sure you clearly understand these notes. This is very important. Read the design data. This is a drainage vessel. The design pressure is 3.5 kg per centimeter square. Type of the head is 2 ISTO 1 elliptical. My previous videos will give you more details about elliptical dish heads. The corrosion allowance is 3 mm. This is a below ground tank. Material specification SA285 grade C is a carbon steel material with boiler quality. The main body of the tank is made with this grade material. Saddle, base plate, etc., are made of SA36 grade carbon steel. Manhole flange grade is SA105. This is a forged flange. The manhole neck is made from rolled plate. CAF gasket sheet is a non asbestos material which is made up of fibers. See the bolt nuts and elect rods grades. Look at the nozzles data. See the flange type. WN and LWN. What is the difference between these two types? WN flange is a weld neck flange and LWN is long weld neck. Long weld neck flanges are like weld neck flanges, except for the neck which is extended and acts like a boring extension. TL to TL length is 8000 mm. What is TL? TL is tangent line or tangential line. What is a tangent line? The tangent line describes the point on the head where the knuckle radius meets the straight flange. What is WL? WL is weld line. The diameter of the tank is 2,500 mm and the thickness is 10 mm. See the description. It says the dish end is ellipsoidal, the dish blank thickness is 12 mm and after foraming, the minimum thickness shall be 9 mm. See the saddle supports. This one is fix. This one is a sliding saddle. See the top view of the vessel and study the nozzle arrangements. Detail W1. This is the welding detail of the dish to shell joint. The thickness of the shell is 10 mm and the dish end thickness is 12 mm. 1 is to 3 bevel is prepared on the dish end edge, and ID matched the thickness with the shell. See the saddle. Four numbers sloped holes on the base plate of the sliding saddle. We have already discussed the detail W1. W2. Stub and type joint. 
60 degree bevel. Little confusing. Here the including angle is 30 degree. Here the including angle is 35 degree. W3 is the detail of the manhole neck to the flange welding. Detail W4. The manhole neck is 12 mm thick and single beveled. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching. As always, good day.